Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your boy Neff from Neff's Tack Pits here with the Colonel himself. Today we're checking out the Fly Fusion Pen Top. They advertise this as being basically a computer on a pen, and it can do some pretty interesting things. Now, this is one of the precursors to uh, the Leapfrog Pen. As, uh, I'm sure many of you have seen one of these, or perhaps even have one of these, uh, for your younger brother, perhaps for yourself, or maybe for your children, I'm telling you. These things are all around in the market, and these were a precursor to them. I think that's really interesting. You're supposed to be able to do uh, crazy things like what you write you can export to word which is really awesome let's see if it knows my horrible writing you can also do mp3s on these things uh, very nice very convenient released in 2009 and then it was discontinued sorry 2007 it was released it was discontinued in 2009 and I'm sure the money they made off this stuff uh, they managed to use in other things that they did so this was made for Basically, grade school kids, maybe university-aged uh, individuals, but definitely people going into the learning world. So let's open this up and see what it has on the inside. It looks like somebody... I get the feeling that this was purchased by someone who meant the best and bought something for their grandson, and the kids just never used it. Maybe they never needed it, but man, that's new, new looking, right? I think that this is where the original USB would have been. Oh, no. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, maybe. we got the cable back there. And then on the inside, we got the, the Fly Fusion Notebook. You tap there when you start, and then you can go through your fun stuff. So let me go through that. I really don't think anyone's ever used this. And then we got the Fly Memorizer, faster way to remember answers to your tests. Okay, let's see what we got on the inside of here. I guess that's all that schooling is, isn't it? You just... Uh, need to remember the answers to your test. So we got the cartridge right here, and that's how it works. You get the cartridge, and then you got the Wheel of Fortune stuff. I might do a teardown of this when I'm done, depending on how I feel. Anyways, I'm going to check this stuff out. I'll get right back to you, folks. Just to give you an idea of the size, here we have the Fly Fusion Pen, and here we have two different versions of uh, the Leapfrog Tag Unit. Now, these are the two main notebooks you'll be using. This is the one that comes with the unit. This is the one that you can buy separately. Uh, that was sealed, never opened. So as soon as you come to it, you got to... That tells the unit exactly what book it's looking into. And then, as soon as you open the book, you get all of these cool options. One of the coolest, I think, is the calculator. Three times three, ninety-nine plus. Oh. Three, one hundred, two times. Yep. Clear entry. I forgot to clear it. Three times three equals nine. There we go. And here we got the memory status. Memory available, seventy percent. Huh, I don't even know why I put it into this thing. Now, if you were able to put MP3s onto this thing, you could use this. There are no songs currently loaded. Connect to your computer to download songs. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't do that. Uh, what else we got going on? Yeah, so of course, turn it on and off. That's the power button there. Here's where you load your cartridges. It's an interesting, like, 20-pin system. And then, of course, you get your old school, as we call it at work, the old, old school BlackBerry connector the USB mini now this is where things get real interesting oh yeah it also comes with one of these pens so if you want to know the time one second start fresh actually before we get into anything it should be said that you have that special paper for this you can look down really close and you'll see lots of specs on the paper to tell this thing exactly what's going on and here we have a reference guide to show you how you can do almost anything um, in theory, you're supposed to start out with the M, although you don't always actually have to do that. So let's do it. Let's write down. Main menu. So it sees that that's the main menu. Tap below the fly con to scroll through the menu. So there's no volume on this, but you can put a headset in. Anyways, so if it worked, you could put SP. But it doesn't know what that is. 
Huh, did I do that too quick? Unknown, okay, so that's supposed to be the translator. Doesn't work. Um, we're going to, to use uh, the practice now. Fly type practice. Here's where you'll get to practice writing letters and numbers in a way that Fly can read. So, press below. Scratch pad. And that'll change the option. Scratch pad. Try writing farther away from the fly car. What? Game. High score. High score. High score. High score. Game. Scratch pad. Scratch pad. Print a letter, number, word, or phrase of up to six words. Double tap when you're done. That worked surprisingly well. You can use this to make any number of, uh, of six letter sentences or words. Oh wait. Write a word, phrase, or sentence and then double tap. Did that wrong. That is awesome. I love pussies. That's oh, awesome. Yeah, so it can definitely use a lot of different words. Oh, check it out when you uh, use bad words. It says bleep. It says bleep on this one. That's amazing. That's hilarious. Next up, we have uh, fast compute the basics. FC, load up some basics. Let's see how we can do here. Fast car. Okay. That's all it has, basics. Okay, let's basics. go. Solve a math equation. Okay, let's try this. Ninety-four plus eight fifths equals four hundred and seventy-eight fifths or ninety-five point six. I think it did that wrong. I think I said it was ninety-four. Let's try that one more time. Okay, I kind of screwed up that one a bit. Let's try it for a third time. Third time's the charm. Nine over four plus eight over five equals. Nine fourths times plus eight divided by five equals. Not sure what you mean. Try it again <laughs> or write a new problem. One more time. One more time. Okay, I got to do this slowly. Okay, okay, we did something there. We got it going. It only took so many tries. To the power of 835. Okay, so we can just ask Google too. What is 9 fourths plus 8 fifths? The answer is 3.85. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's still super cool that you can do this on a pen. I'm not sure if this is the kind of thing that would... Uh, I mean, you'd have to be really good with this before it exited 
the ideal being a novelty kind of phase this is a novelty i'm not sure if it would actually help you out with much on the tests oh yeah here's another cool option you make a t you circle it 10:53 p.m sunday january 1st 2006 yeah it's 2006 that's right main menu i don't get why it doesn't get that so fly type practice it's like so what, January 1st, what I'm not getting here is does it memorize the whole sheet based on the dots or does it, uh, does it sense when you have the unit in a circle? I mean, what can the viewing angle on that be if that's a camera down there? What could the viewing angle on that be? Now, there's only one problem and it really ticks me off with this thing. So of course they were thoughtful enough to provide a CD, and you would think that a CD would include all the information that you need to use the program. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. This disc is supposed to install a program on the PC. Instead, that disc uses the PC to call out to the internet to contact the Fly Fusion install. The Fly Fusion install doesn't exist anymore. I can't use this thing for half of the things that are listed because even though I have a CD, even though I have hard media here, I have to get my information from Leapfrog and Leapfrog shut their servers and services down. So unfortunately, this is just another case of a cool piece of technology that is absolutely useless because it is no longer supported. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting so many services these days and uh, if something goes wrong, we can't use any of it anymore. Can you imagine if you bought a car and something like that happened? That would suck so much. Like, seriously. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome pen. But I'm not going to be able to use it because it's not supported. And even past that, even past that, even if I wanted to, the battery on this thing's dying already on me, and I've only been using it for about a half hour, which is unfortunate. I can't put MP3s on this thing because it's not supported. I can't just plug this thing in and automatically have mp3s. Why? Because I need to use a damn program, which sucks. Anyways, I'm not even too sure that this thing would get you stereo sound. 32 uh, megabytes, you're not going to be able to put a whole lot on that. However, it would be super cool if I could use this thing to make um, word, word things. But if you're going to make something in Word anyways, why not just use a laptop? Why not just use a laptop? But still, this thing's still really, really, really cool. Let's do a teardown of this thing. I want to see what's on the inside now. You can tell it's a relatively advanced piece of technology based on all the frickin' clips that I have to rage my way through. Always has to be clips of these newer things. Okay. So there we got the informational chips. And over here. Right, it does shine an LED light on. I wonder if that LED light picks up the little dots. And that got to be a camera of some sort. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can get this apart a little more. Alright, so here's what we got. Come on, autofocus. Oh, flip that over so you guys can read that circuit board. Two thousand seven Leapfrog. Under that big blob is going to be the main chip to the unit, or one of them at least. I suppose that one or that one would be the main chips. And you get the camera unit at the end. Actually, that's just the lens. I imagine the actual camera unit on this may have uh, gotten knocked off. Or maybe that is just the standard camera lens. And then here we have the battery. I'm not seeing any information. I only had a closer look though, just in case. Oh, we got another battery on the inside. 
I don't think it'll tell us a whole lot. But for those interested, that's what we got. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's the fly pen. Another pen from Leapfrog. This one for our kids. Actually, I guess they're all for our kids. But these particular ones are for um, our older kids. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Not from Nest Tech. Let's like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated, folks. And as always, take care of each other, folks.